Ryan from Web Eminence. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to show you quickly how to transfer your email messages from Outlook Express to Windows Live Mail. I recently had to do this myself and found that there wasn't a lot of good info online for how to do this. So I thought I'd make a, a video to help people out who have the same issue. I think there's a lot of people who are switching from Outlook Express to Windows Live Mail. Uh, I was a little scared to do it myself because I've been using Outlook Express for eight years and I'm just used to it. So I was a little scared I was going to um, lose some of the features I was used to. But for those of you who are in the, the same position, I would definitely encourage you to make the switch to Windows Live Mail. You'll have all the same features you are used to in Outlook Express, but a lot more that um, are just more common to modern email. So on the screen you'll see my Outlook Express on my old computer. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. You can go to the file menu and go to export messages. And I'm getting an error when I do that, so I'm not going to do it that way. I typically wouldn't anyway. Uh, the other way to do this is by going to the file on your computer where your messages are stored. And it's kind of hidden deep in your computer. You will need to show hidden files in your uh, Windows Explorer. And I'll show you how to do that in my blog post, so make sure to check that out. But once you allow or show hidden files, you can go to this path on your computer here here and it'll it'll look a little different to you but mine is uh, C drive documents and settings Ryan 2 is my user folder and then you're going local settings application data and identities and in that folder folder you'll see different folders for each of your identities within Outlook Express so I had five different email addresses or identities that I had set up so you would need to transfer all of these separately so you'd want to copy these to you know a flash drive or something um, if you're transferring it to a new computer or you just transfer it maybe to your desktop if you're um, installing Windows Live Mail on the same computer and if you click on one of these you'll see a bunch of DBX files and these are all the folders that were in my Outlook Express so these are the files that we're going to be transferring to Windows Live Mail. Okay so now I'm on my new computer running Windows 7. The other computer was Windows XP and Outlook Express 6. So now I have these files transferred to this computer. I did rename a few of them that's why they look a little bit different. But once you're in Windows Live Mail all you need to do is select uh, this menu up here, this blue button, and then click import messages. And then you're going to select the format you want to import mail from. And in our case, in my case, I'm importing from Microsoft Outlook Express 6. And then you just click browse to find those messages that you transferred. So you would have to transfer each one of these four folders separately if you had separate identities in Outlook Express. Most people will probably just have one folder to transfer. So I'm going to select this folder and then select the Outlook Express folder and click OK. And click Next. And then you can ask it to import all these folders. I'm, ju I'm just going to select one folder so that it goes faster and it says your messages were imported in Microsoft Outlook Express 6 format. So I click finish and here's where some people get hung up. They think it didn't work but you're actually going to find a folder in the storage folders drop-down you'll find imported folder and that's where the email messages were imported to. And then within local folders you'll see the inbox with the messages that were imported. So once you have them imported you can create a new folder and rearrange these messages however you want by dragging them into different folders within your storage folders. Now some people may be running into a problem because they're not seeing the storage folders here in the first place and to fix that you just click on the view menu and there's a button over here on the right 
to click and that will toggle your storage folders on and off. So it's possible that when you're importing messages they're going into your storage folders but you're never seeing it until you turn the storage folders on. So hopefully that helps those of you who are trying to transfer your messages from Outlook Express to Windows Live Mail. As I mentioned I would encourage you to make the switch. Um, I don't think Outlook Express is going to be supported much longer and it only works in Windows XP so for those of you who are getting Windows 7, Windows 8 you're going to need to upgrade and I've been using Windows Live Mail for about a month now and, and, and I love it so far. So hopefully that helps. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're on YouTube and check out the rest of the blog post associated with this video for some more information and we will see you on the next video.